Hi, my name is Siti and welcome to our channel where we make educational technology easy and bring it closer to you. Now Google has finally announced when they're getting rid of the old Google contacts. That's February the 12th, 2019. So it's about time that we dive into the new Google contacts and see exactly where we can find it and what can be done. Follow me. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. And here we are in my Gmail. Now, previously you could easily locate contacts on the left hand side, but that's now been switched over to the apps launcher. So go ahead and select contacts in your apps launcher and this opens up the brand new contacts. Now contacts has been given a makeover and it is now clean and material design. So let's start off by creating a new contact. Simply click on the plus create a new contact. We're going to add a test name. We're going to add a test surname. We're going to add a company. Maybe a job title if we choose to. There we go. We can add an email address. Now again, a demo email address. And we can add a phone number. So let's just add in a random phone number. We can add some notes. This is a second test account. And then we can click on more fields to see even more options. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to leave these as it is. Now you also have the option of adding a second email address and you can add multiple phone numbers. So let's go ahead and add me three at Eduflip and then click on save. And there we go, my card has been saved. Now I can star this, I can edit, or under more options I can print, export and hide it from my contacts. Let's close this. You can see I now have two contacts in my new Google contacts. And what I like is that you can highlight these and then merge these two together. So if you have two separate contacts for a single person, you can merge them. You can add a label. Let's create a label here. Let's call this a test label, save. And you can also send them an email straight from that menu. Now, when I select this label, all the contacts containing that label will show up. Now, when I go back to my email and I start typing an email address, I can add contacts in two ways. I can either click on the two and then my contacts opens up and I can select everyone I would like to add to my email. I can also use autofill and simply start typing their name. Now this will search my contact list and suggest some contacts. Let's use the two option and let's have a look at grouping contacts. So let's go ahead and select two contacts and now we can save these as a group. So let's go ahead and call this a test group and save. Now, why might we create a group? Well, for the simple reason of ease of use. So we can now type in test group and this will automatically populate my to field with all the email addresses. Let's close down this email and let's go back to contacts in our app launcher contacts. There we go. So this is the new Google Contacts. It's easy to use. It looks clean. It's sleek. It's a little bit trickier to get to because you have to use the app launcher, but overall a lovely, wonderful experience. And there you go. It is a complete breakdown of what you can do in Google Contacts. Now the new Google Contacts might be in a new location and in a new place, but the material design that they've added to it makes it much easier to use. Now I'm hoping for even more integration. Hopefully we'll see it in the sidebar sometime in the future. Now I would love to hear in the comment section below what you enjoy about the new Contacts. What are you going to miss about the old Contacts? And let's begin that discussion in our comment section. Now if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to stay up to date with many other educational technology available, don't forget to subscribe and I will be here with another video next week. In the meantime, you can watch one of these older videos and I thank you for watching.